Hey all, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to make a rabbit hutch. We just recently got some New Zealand whites and we need a place for them to stay, so I'm going to show you my design and walk you through it. So each rabbit needs about three feet wide of space by two feet deep. We don't have quite enough space to go three feet wide in our chicken coop, so we're going to, it's going to be close to six feet total for this double bay cage I'm making. Right here is two brand new two by fours. Those are going to be for the long pieces, and then here's a bunch of scrap 2x4s back there that I can use for the intermediate pieces and the doorways and stuff like that. It's a good way to use up some shorter scraps. I'm going to cut them all to length first. I'm going to cut all the short ones to 22 inches, and then these long ones are going to be 5 foot 8 inches. But you can make it 6 feet or whatever you need. Then after I cut them to length, I'm going to rip them all in half so you can double your material. It doesn't have to be full 2x4s, it doesn't have to be that strong. It's just the frame to hold the wire. Okay, they're all cut to length now. Now it's time to rip them on the table saw. Okay, now that all the cutting's done, I'm gonna go through and stain all these boards. I've got a eco-friendly wood treatment. It's non-toxic, so the rabbits chew on the sides, it's going to be fine and it's going to help preserve them the wood a lot longer because rabbits urine is very corrosive and I want these cages to last a long time. So it kind of just goes on like water and it turns it gray and helps protect the wood for a longer time. Okay, I got eight of these support pieces right here. I'm gonna drill some pocket holes in it since I got a jig. You wouldn't have to do that. If you don't have a Craig jig, you could just put it like that and screw, screw right into that like that. But I like the pocket holes because they make a nice strong joint. All right, time to put it all together now. I'm gonna show you the process and the stuff I'm using and then we'll speed it up for ya. Pocket screws. They're coated, so they're gonna last a long time. This clamp is gonna help keep things flush. So you just take one of these four pieces, put it on the corner of a long piece, make sure that's pretty nice and flush. It doesn't have to be exact. And screw it together. Nice and snug. Same thing on the other side. to see how it comes together. There's one piece, you do the same thing with the other one and then you hash those two both together. All right, got it all framed up. Here is the fencing I'm gonna be using. One inch by two inch squares. These are gonna be for all the sides and it'll be smaller squares for the bottom so rabbits don't hurt their feet. Oh yeah, let's get this on. I'm going to be putting it on the inside, which is going to make it more annoying to put on, but I think it will help the wood last longer. They won't have to chew it up as good. The way to cut this it makes it a lot faster is just to use an angle grinder. So I thought I'd just show you that process. This is just cutting it out for the separator in the middle. Alright, there it is. I'm gonna use all these little extra chunks here to weave it into the Original stuff over here. You mark the center line. Five foot eight. Thirty-four inches. We're on that side. Thirty-four. I'll just bend this first one back. As well as the bottom one. And just start bending all these around it. And just pull through. 
pliers. Yeah, I need a separator in there. All right, so finally got all the parts and pieces in the mail, so I can finally finish up these rabbit hutches. I'm gonna put on the doors and top wire, the bottom wire, and they'll be all ready to hang up. I'm gonna assemble the doors. Uh, I already have pre-cut everything and drill the holes. Small pieces are 13 inches, and the long ones are 21 inches. together. Easy, easy. All right, there's one door Okay, now I'm gonna drill the holes for the hinges and install those. I just got these hinges and screws. I need to pre-drill. Be precise. I like to do as many of the steps at once. If I can drill all the holes at once, screw all the screws in at once, it just really speeds up the process, makes it more efficient. These hinges were a little bit smaller than I was expecting them. I ordered them on Amazon. But for this purpose, I don't have to be that strong. Alright, now that the door is assembled, I'm going to put it in place. Uh, this is 21 inches and this gap is 22, so I'm just split the difference, doing a half inch gap on each side. I'm just using this scrap chunk of half inch OSB, just put it on the bottom, the top and bottom even, and then I just got these hinges that I'm using for spacers on the side here. You can just use whatever, and then I like to Clamp it in place. It makes it a lot easier to drill these holes up together. All right, so now I've got a nice even gap here and all across the bottom. Put it up there, push it up against there, and just drill up. Like a charm. Now I'm gonna want to cut out all this metal here. And attach it, and that'll be that. But I'm gonna go do the other side now. Now I'm just gonna go through and mark out the wire where I want to cut it all out from. So we're gonna go right there. Time to make some sparks. Now obviously you can just use some pliers to cut this, but that just makes it go much faster. Uh, I need to rip off all this excess stuff overhanging, staple this to the side here. It's much more annoying to work with this because it's all stapled on the inside, but in the long run, I think it'll be worth it. It'll help preserve the wood. Just want these gated last a lot longer. Lay it over. This piece on the door. Make sure I close this fine. Look at that. Now we need to put this piece in. It's gonna go right here. I guess I do have some in there. These are the staples I'm using, in case you're wondering. 5 8 inch. And then I'll roll the staple that off. That part's done. Now time for the other door. Installed. Now it's time to just add a little stop and a latch to each one. So I've got just these little chunks of wood here. I'm gonna put one on the 
Because it goes a little bit past. So I'm going to pull the staple piece right there, so it'll stop it. Mm -hmm. Transparency. Now add a little latch. Just pre drill the hole here. Put it somewhere in the middle. And then I'm just going to put another little screw right here. Stop it. And plug it. That little bit of handle. Time for the final steps now. I just need to put the top and the bottom wire on. The top, I'm just using this 2x4 stuff that's uh, much cheaper. And I'm not going to get out of that if they don't have high. And the bottom, a much finer that's in here. Half inch by one inch squares so they don't put their feet or get caught in there. Work. Got it all done finally. Alright, so finally finished up these rabbit cages. I also added on these feeders. You just have to cut a hole in it and that's good to go. And as well as these uh, salt licks for them to get some minerals that their feed doesn't have. And then I have these hay holders I just have here that I can fill up and they can eat as much as they need to. Just a flat piece of wood in there for them to be able to lay on. Get off the wire if they need to, and also to chew on, it's good for their teeth. And then this uh, automatic watering system I have set up, just have them all connected, these hoses. It goes up to, I've got a bucket up there, just gravity fed, makes it super easy. Hardly ever have to water them. That's all working out really great. I'm happy with how they turned out. This one over here is pregnant and should be having her kits in two weeks. We will keep you updated on that.